Back home, a Flinders Uni researchers created a canvas that frees disabled kids to make art. The virtual screen's also a huge step forward in treatment, and the world's taking notice. It didn't seem right to Laura Diamond. The very latest console game technology where the body controls the screen is revolutionising playtime. The children who have disabilities and can't use those other technologies kind of get left out. Who are you making sparkly sounds? Yeah. She drew on her engineering skills and created a world first. Children with or without disabilities can join in on together and have fun, make art, put up posters on the walls. The user decides what the infrared sensor will follow. Your hands, feet, even just your nose. Select a new colour, make a new sound. And it works in hospital or at home. Because it can track range of motion uh, and which limbs being favoured, can be used in analysis of what a child needs. It's maximum joy with minimal movement. It's a device that's going to go a long way. Laura's taking it to Korea next week, her first conference. You only really get asked to come to the conference if you're presenting something novel or new or sort of cutting edge. Tim Noonan, 7 News.